All right, at this point, we are on to our last lesson for collecting, displaying, and analyzing data. So, drawing our bar graphs or our pictographs and getting information based upon that. Today, we're going to compare pictographs and bar graphs. What's the difference between them? Which one is a better choice in which situation? So here we have Fun Times Park Rents Equipment. This pictograph here shows the equipment rentals for one week in July. So the week of July 2nd, here we have the type of equipment that was rented. We have our key, 20 people uh, per person, and we have the number of uh, the equipment that was rented in our pictograph. In this bar graph, we show the Saturday activities for one Saturday in July. Fun Time Park Saturday activities, the number of people, the activities they chose, um, and it's drawn in a bar graph. Problem that I see with this bar graph, there's no number here. Um, when a bar graph ends, I think it should end with a number on the top line. We can see here they've counted by 20s. So, and it's every second line that's actually counting by 20. So they've actually really counted by 10s. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Next we would have 120, and that would be for this line here, uh, just to finish that off. All right. Pictographs and bar graphs are similar. They both show data. In a pictograph, the symbol shows the data. In a bar graph, the bar or the box square shows the data. For both the pictograph and the bar graph, we can only estimate the number of people. Um, and it's usually easier to estimate the number from a bar graph because we can use the scale to help us figure that out. Um, a pictograph is nice because it's more visually appealing. It's nicer to look at. We have to use the key to help us estimate the numbers. So, but this can be a bit tricky when we're, go, when we're taking a look at it. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200, 220, and half, 230. But I have to do all that counting to figure it out. So I don't love pictographs. Much easier to look at the information on a bar graph. Um, remember here we're seeing that it's counting by 20, so I would say, okay, it's a little bit more than 100 and 10 here because we have every second line so that means this would be 90, this would be 100, this would be 110, a little bit more than 110, maybe 112. I do still have to do some figuring there but not quite as much. Um, personally I prefer a bar graph. All right now you're going to practice. You're going to take a look at these two. Uh, one is a pictograph and one is a bar graph. This is a horizontal bar graph because our draw bars are drawn horizontally doesn't change the data at all it just changes how you look at it or because you're using your scale and traveling up instead of your scale traveling to the side um, list all the things you know from each graph how are the graphs the same how are they different take a moment press pause and do that now all right video store sorry, videos rented in one store on one day is our title for both. Uh, here's our pictograph. We have one video cassette, which hmm, we don't really use anymore, uh, mostly DVDs now, but one video cassette that represents 10 videos. So we have in science fiction 40, comedy 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, um, action, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, drama 30, kids movies 50, and romance 20. So from this we can determine that romance was the least popular kind of video rented, uh, comedy was the most popular, action was a close second, um, science fiction and kids were almost equal, and drama and romance were least. Their scale, or their key choice here, was really quite nice because all of these were multiples of 10. Uh, 40, 70, 60, and so on, all ended in that zero. So this was a perfect choice for our key. Um, and almost similar to a bar graph, the way that they almost look like bars. Here we have the same information, the type of movies, the number of videos is on the bottom, 
The scale is on the side and again they've counted by tens using that same um, interval for either the key or the numbering. They do have the type of movies and they have them listed here. 40 science fiction, comedy 70, action 60, drama 30, kids 50, and romance 20. Oops. 20. So definitely showing the same information. Um, not a whole lot of differences here other than one is in bars and one uses pictures with a representative of 10. All right, you're going to do your concept practice now. Page 267 to 269, numbers 1, 2, 3, and 5. Comparing picture graphs and bar graphs, so looking carefully at both and analyzing them, seeing what's the same, what's different, which is better. And again, here is your exit slip to check your understanding. Remember, this is not done until after we have marked your concept practice, we've discussed it, and you have, we have cleared up any misconceptions so that you clearly understand comparing pictographs and bar graphs uh, before you move on to the exit slip. Once you finish the exit slip, of course, remember to hand it in to me so that I can check your understanding.